What's up guys, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And hey, guess what? It's officially summer, so I thought it'd be a great idea to share with you a few tips to help you maximize your 2021 summer ball. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first tip, learn to be a utility player. Summer ball is the perfect time for you to learn how to play multiple positions and get comfortable playing multiple positions. It's gonna make you a more versatile player and being more versatile is gonna open up a lot of doors for you and present more opportunities for you in your career and the more opportunities, the better. But what you gotta realize, the importance of being able to play multiple positions is on every single team that you play for, look, there can only be one shortstop at a time. There can only be one guy playing center field at a time. There there's nine positions out here and they've all got to be occupied by just one person and so if you pigeonhole yourself into well I'm just a shortstop or I'm just a second baseman or all I can play is first base all I can do is catch then you're really really limiting your opportunities and we want to maximize our opportunities um, and speaking of maximizing opportunities in summer ball this year, if you focus on learning how to play multiple positions, that's gonna help you not only improve your chances of cracking the lineup on your current team, but that's also gonna improve your stock when college coaches are watching you because college coaches, they don't want a player who's just one dimensional. Like I was mentioning before, oh, just a third baseman or just a first baseman. They really want athletes, they want ball players first, and they want you to care about your, your, you know, your favorite position, your primary position. That really comes secondary, but you need to focus on being a ball player first when you do have that focus when you learn to play everywhere that's like I mentioned gonna help you you know crack the lineup for the current team that you're on and it's also gonna improve your stock and it's gonna raise your chances to really be able to play at the next level because again there's only you know one player that can play each position at the same time all right so summer ball great opportunity for you to learn how to play multiple positions the reality is guys players are gonna get hurt there's gonna be injuries that happens players are also gonna underperform and players are gonna every single season there's gonna be some players on the team that unfortunately run into eligibility issues and so if you can play everywhere that gives you an opportunity to step up but otherwise you're just kind of banking on you know somebody either getting hurt or underperforming or being ineligible at your specific position we don't want that we want to be ball players first we want to be able to play everywhere so learn to become a versatile player this summer Number two, develop a moonshot skill. What do I mean by that? What is a moonshot? Well, you all know Google, the company Google. When they set goals, they set certain goals called moonshots. And of course they have smaller goals along the way as well, but moonshots are the biggest of the big goals. The moonshots are high risk, high reward, and these are really game changing goals. They're setting out to literally change the world if they're able to accomplish these moonshots that are nearly impossible, okay? So that's what a moonshot is. Now, I said develop a moonshot skill. What do I mean by that? Well, I think that you should take this concept that Google uses, and I think you should think about that concept this summer. Now, I'm not asking you to do anything high risk, and I'm not telling you that you need to learn this summer, you know, how to hit with your eyes closed or standing on your head or anything crazy like that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is think about what is the one skill that could be a game changer for you? Because if you just develop one skill that's, you know, continue to improve all your skills, but you really add something to your game this summer, you add something that's game changing, think about the effect that that's gonna have, whether you're playing fall baseball or when you get into the spring. And so a, a great way to think about this is to think about what if, and then just start spitballing ideas. Well, what if I learned how to, I've never learned how to drag bunt. What if I learn how to drag bunt this year and so I can eke out a few extra base hits, maybe every single week and drastically improve my batting average? That'd be a great tool to add to my arsenal. What if I, you know, what if I learned how to field a, a slow roller ground ball barehand and make that play? What if I, as a pitcher, what if I learned what if I added a new pitch to my arsenal and not just learned how to, how to grip a pitch and how to throw that pitch, but how to command that pitch, how to locate that pitch, have confidence in that pitch and be able to locate it for strikes and be comfortable throwing it in any count. If you do any of those things, you know, those would be considered kind of moonshot things. Wouldn't that have a game-changing effect 
when it comes to your next season, when it comes to, you know, once you're out of summer ball. And so that's what I encourage you to think about. What's the moonshot thing? What's the one thing? Because the reality is, you know, the time's going to go by regardless. And I would hate for you to enter the next season being the exact same player that you are right now. And thinking about developing a new moonshot skill, a new game changing skill is going to make sure that that doesn't happen. And it's going to make sure that you continue to progress as a ball player. All right, summer ball tip number three, transform your body and transform your game. All right, what I mean by that is now's the time, if you're looking to make a serious transformation with your body, if you're looking to add 10 pounds of muscle, or maybe you're a little overweight, you're looking to drop 15, 20 pounds of fat, the off season, the summer, now is the time to do it. But especially, I know a lot of young players are looking to get bigger, right? They wanna get bigger and faster and stronger, and they wanna add muscle, they wanna bulk up a little bit, right? Because that's gonna directly translate to you know more power at the plate, more velocity, more running speed, all that good stuff. So I understand, the reasoning behind I want to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. What you have to understand though is during the season it's very hard to do that because you're burning so many calories when you're playing games, when you're out you know, for multiple hours at practice every single day and in order to build this muscle that you're looking for you need to be in a caloric surplus which means you need to be consuming, you need to be eating more calories than you're burning. It's very difficult to do that during the season. During the season it's about injury prevention and a lot of times it's about maintenance but the off season now is the time for you to make big changes to your body. So I highly recommend you do it. You know, take an honest assessment of yourself. And if you need to, to get bigger, then get bigger. If you need to, you know, drop some fat, then drop some fat. And if you have serious, you know, body goals, I would recommend doing some research. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but do some research on macros or macronutrients. Okay. So the calories that you consume, uh, they're made up of macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And in order to maximize your results, you wanna be eating the correct amount of macros, of each macro. So the correct amount of protein, the correct amount of carbs, the correct amount of fat in order to really maximize your results. So go look at macronutrients. And then the other thing, transform your body, that's the first part, and then transform your, your, your game. What I mean by that is now's the time to make some, some big overhauls if necessary. A lot of you guys don't need to make any, any, any major overhauls, but if you've been thinking about, hey, I'd really like to incorporate a leg kick or I need to revisit my my throwing mechanics. Now's the time to do that because in the season it's very difficult to, to bring something new like that in. It's really about fine tuning, but summer this is the perfect opportunity for you to do that. So this summer transform your body and transform anything major in your game. Tip number four for you this summer, ride the bike for real. What I mean by that is there's a great book out there called You Can't Teach a Kid to Ride a Bike at a Seminar. And it's so true. You can watch all these videos, you can study your favorite players, you can even take thousands of swings off of the tee and soft toss and batting practice, but when it really comes down to it, nothing compares to the real thing. So that being said, I encourage you to get out there and play summer ball this year. Play organized baseball, if at all possible. And ideally, you're playing in a good league with really good competition because iron sharpens iron, and the better competition you face, the better you're going to be. Okay, the, the, the more you're going to progress and the more you're going to develop. But worst case scenario, Try to get live at bats as often as you can if you're a hitter or if you're a pitcher, try your best to you know, get some hitters together and face some live hitters because you got to be honest with yourself, just throwing a bullpen with nobody standing there in the batter's box, it's different when a real hitter gets in there, right? So try your best to play summer ball, ride the bike for real this summer, actually you know, face real competition. That would be my recommendation, but if you can't do that at a bare minimum, you, know, you definitely want to get some players together and you know, create create a competitive atmosphere, but doing something, you got to get out there and ride the bike for real. Doing something is a heck of a lot better than just sitting at home and doing nothing and wishing that you'd get better. Wishing, we don't want to wish, we want to work for it, okay? So ride the bike for real this summer. All right, and last but certainly not least, develop positive consistency. The reality is most players waste their summer by playing video games and staying up too late and sleeping too little and filling their body with junk food. And then what happens is they waste their entire summer and then all of a sudden school comes back or tryouts are coming around. They're coming up in the next few weeks and all of a sudden these players have to do this heroic effort to try to really get their swing back and get back in shape. And really what they're trying to do is they're trying to dig themselves out of a hole and they're just trying to get back to the level that they were once at, okay? You 
You don't want that to be you. Have you ever heard the phrase, I'm sure you have, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready? Well, what if that was you? What if you were consistent and what if instead of trying to dig yourself out of a hole and trying to get back to par, what if you consistently you know, inched better every single day, just inch by inch, brick by brick, brick. What if you got just a little bit better every single day and you stayed ready so you don't have to get ready? So I just encourage you that uh, you don't need to do some heroic effort. You just need to be consistent and you need to be consistent doing the right things because here's the reality too. I guarantee a lot of you guys, you are consistent right now, but you might be consistently doing the wrong things. You might be consistently sleeping in and consistently skipping your workouts, consistently playing video games. You might consistently be doing the wrong thing, so you need to get consistency on your side, but you need to be consistent with the right actions that are going to move the needle and get your get you closer to your goals, okay? So, you know, the time is going to pass regardless. Whether you like it or not, summer will be over soon. You'll be back in school. And so the question really is, do you want to utilize this time? And do you want to get something from this time? Do you want to be all in? And do you want to, when school comes back around, when the season comes back around, do you want to be a better ball player because you were you know, developing this positive consistency over time? Or do you want to be digging yourself out of that hole? It's up to you. The choice is yours. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss any of our upcoming baseball videos. We're coming out with new videos all the time. And we've got a ton of videos already on the channel that you can go back and watch. So be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe. And last thing, be sure to go download the free contact point checklist that I put together for you. It's 100% free. And this checklist is gonna make sure that you look picture perfect at the point of contact in your baseball baseball swing so that you can develop some more consistency at the plate. You can hit the ball harder and further and you can have a lot more fun on the field and a lot more confidence. That's what it's all about and it's 100% free so all you have to do just click on the link down below in the description or I'll also leave that in the first comment so just click on that link. Go download it for free right now. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.